Mr. Washington, what model Mercedes did you purchase from the defendant? C300. Bird, would you please look up a C300 2008 Mercedes Benz? Can I take a look? Sure. C300. C300 series, right in there. C300. Mm -hmm. Was this a sedan? It was, four door. Yeah. So the suggested retail on that car is $11,250. Okay. Would you explain to me why you paid him $18,000 for it? Uh, that's not an answer. Sorry. I paid the 18000 because that's what he asked for. I believe at the time I purchased the vehicle in 2011, and it was a 2008, so I figured I got oh, a good deal. Just a second. Yes, ma'am. You purchased the vehicle from him in... Two 2011. And when was it repossessed? It was repossessed August 8th, 2016. That makes sense. Okay, so our books don't go back that far? No. I got one for you, Your Honor. What was the retail value in 2011? I highlighted for you as well, ma'am. A little sticky for you. That's better. Yes, ma'am. So this is the story. You purchased a car from him in 2011. Correct. You paid him $18,000 for it. Your car was repossessed just recently, some five and a half, six years later. Right. Correct? Correct. And you claim that you gave him $18,000 in full satisfaction of the car. Correct. And he was supposed to pay off whatever loans there were on the car. That is correct. Right. Because the retail value of the car in 2011, when you purchased it, was $28,000. Okay. So that means that you got a super terrific deal. Absolutely. That's why 18, I purchased it. At $18,000. Don't buy it. Because the defendant says that the deal was the $18,000 was $18,000 down. That's what you gave him. And you were supposed to finish making the payments on the car. Now, how much did you owe on the car in 2011 when he gave you the $18,000? What month, sir? When I purchased the vehicle, it was August 10th, 2011. So it would have been around $6,000, ma'am. Not around. But accumulated interest after the time, ma'am. Oh, no, but I wanted... then it was $24,000 is what the whole vehicle uh, was owed on. He paid $18,000 and it was gonna make the rest of those payments. I had already put the rims on it and the tires to make it look okay. that much better. So the whole price was supposed to be 24 because he was yes, taking over the rest. And even at that, he got a reasonable deal because yes, the car was worth $28,000 at yes, the time, right? Right. Okay. And what you want me to, to believe is you paid $18,000 on the car mm -hmm. and he was supposed to pay the other $6,000 on the car so that he would have only received nothing for the car, in effect. Well, he never told me the balance of the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, it was agreed Mr. that Washington, I paid. Mr. Yes. Washington, I was sympathetic at first, sir, until mm -hmm. I looked at all of these papers. Yeah. Now I'm unsympathetic with you. If I'm unsympathetic with you, that means I don't believe that you weren't supposed to pay off the car to the finance company, which would still have given you a $28,000 car for $24,000. Instead, what you want me to believe is that you paid him $18,000. He was supposed to make $6,000 in payments on the car. Your Honor, I have proof that he said that he paid the vehicle off. Mr. Washington? Yes, ma'am. I'm not <coughs> buying it. Do you understand? I do understand, but... Great. The... I'm, not, I'm not buying it. It was agreed that I paid 18000 That was it. It was, came with the rims and the system that was in the trunk. I gave the check, mm -hmm. and it was, he gave me a title which was fake. And it has the company's name misspelled on it. If you would like to see it, I have it right here. It came from his address Just in North Carolina. You've been driving that car for five and a half years? Five years, absolutely. Just, yeah, five and a half years. Yeah, but he never told me. In our conversation, I have everything printed out. He never told me that there was this balance. He told me that the car was paid off and that I would receive the original title that I could take to my financial institution. Very good. I'm not buying it, Mr. Washington, because the numbers don't make sense. You want to take it back to your court? Take it back to the court where you came from. I'm Your not Honor, buying your story. Goodbye. Wow.